interrupt this program to bring you the following news bulletin. From the news center of BNAP 12, we have Cindy reporting on the scene. Cindy, can you let us know what's happening out there, please? Well, yes, Cheryl, I'm here on the scene. And as you can see, we are looking for the following suspect by the name of Kidney. I'd like to give you a little description so that the members of the public could be aware of what they're looking for. Sydney, the kidney is a bean-shaped organ found along the posterior wall of the abdominal cavity, retroperitoneal behind the dorsal body of the parietal peritoneum between the 12th thoracic and 3rd lumbar vertebrae. The right kidney is slightly lower than the left because of the space occupied by the liver. The kidney is 12 centimeters in length 6 cm wide and 3 cm thick. Sydney, the kidney is, pro is protected by three layers of connective tissue. One, a fibrous renal fascia immediately deep to the peritoneal, parietal peritoneal, which binds the kidney and, and associated organs to the abdominal wall. Two, the adipose capsule, a layer of fat that cushions the kidney and holds it in place. And three, the renal capsule, a fibrous sac that is anchored at the hilum and encloses the rest of the kidney like a cellophane wrapper and protects it from trauma and infection. But Cheryl, I also have some eyewitnesses here on the scene. I wonder if they could give us a, a better account of what Mr. Kidney looks like. Yes, I saw Mr. Sydney Kidney with that reddish color, smooth texture. That's the part of the renal cortex. He has a Bowman capsule, a glomeruli, proximal and distal convoluted tubules, associated blood supply. I saw all of that. He went down so. All you call you and Alex? Well, I was minding my own business when I saw the renal medulla, the inner part of the kidney. The area was striated and reddish brown in color. Within the renal medulla, there are approximately 5 to 18 striated triangular structures called the renal pyramids. The appearance of striation are due to the many straight tubules and blood vessels within the renal pyramid. But don't say I say. Yes, Cindy girl, I know he have a renal pelvis shaped like a funnel basin that receives urine drain, drained from the kidney nephrons via the collecting duct and then the large papillary ducts. Yes. I saw Sydney the kidney, he had a mark. You see the indentation near the center? Right there. That part where all the blood vessels, lymphatic vessels and nerves enter and leave the kidney. Yes, the renal hilus, that is he mark. Thanks for that lovely information guys. So here we have in studio, nurse Harper. The renal artery, which is this here, it delivers oxygenated blood to the kidney. It divides into many smaller branches as it enters through the renal hilus. Alright, me again. The renal veins, however, receives the oxygenated blood from the peritubular veins within the kidney, which is returned to the systemic blood circulation system. Alright. Yeah. Mm-hmm. The ureter, the structure which the urine is conveyed from the kidneys to the urinary bladder, yeah, that is attached. So, just look for it and all you will find kidney. Find him. Just work hard for yours. I say, Mama, you know I work hard for sure. Now, Jaja bless me with the opportunity to fly country to country. Now, I could drink champagne when I thirst. Now, I could see only thing I never see. They say, This is how I eat man so long. 
But I thank me for the run the family No, no bad mind, boy, they can stop me On every show I smile in cause trust me Life is so lovely, whoa And I'm far from today 